This is Akuyu, the first nuclear power plant in Turkey. A dream born nearly 70 years ago is finally becoming true. More than 560 buildings and structures are being built on the area covering 10 square kilometers. The nuclear power plant will supply electricity to millions of people. Since energy in a nuclear power plant is released through nuclear fission rather than combustion, it is a form of energy that does not emit carbon dioxide. So, where is this energy generated? What path does it follow before reaching homes, schools, hospitals, and industrial facilities? Today, we will learn this from engineers and project managers. Akuyu NPP, this is where energy begins. Dear friends, here at the Akuyu NPP site, a large team of builders, engineers, and nuclear specialists is building four power units. Every year we hold the Open Doors Day to share with you the information about the progress of our project. Today, we will tell you about the first power unit. As of today, our main efforts and resources are focused on it. General construction works are almost complete, and commissioning works are in full swing. This is a stage when the plant is transforming from a construction site into an operating power supply facility. These processes are always consistent. Each component and system undergoes comprehensive, step-by-step -step testing. We are responsible for a reliable and safe nuclear power plant that will generate electricity for decades. We are moving forward steadily. Every step we take is carefully calculated. Each operation is carried out only after precise calculations and thorough inspections. The Akuyu NPP project is outlining the roadmap for construction of nuclear power plants in the Republic of Turkey. Today, you have a unique opportunity to see the main facilities of the first startup and commissioning complex of the NPP, where nuclear energy will soon be born and begin its journey. It is best to have all this explained by those who work at the nuclear power plant, professional Turkish nuclear engineers, the pride of the project. They received an excellent education in the Russian universities. They completed their internships at operational nuclear power plants. Now, they are building the future of the Turkish nuclear industry with their own hands. I am sure they will gladly tell and show you their point of pride. Welcome to Akuyu NPP. Ege Mert, Fuel Cladding Integrity Control Systems, leading specialist. He handles nuclear fuel for the future NPP. Elif Uur, Licensing Support Department, Leading Specialist, prepares documentation for obtaining permits and licenses. Umut John Shahin, Radioactive Waste and Spent Nuclear Fuel Processing Systems Specialist. He will be in charge of spent nuclear fuel management. Merve Shahin, Radiation Safety Leading Specialist, performs monitoring of compliance with the radiation safety requirements. Dear viewers, hello everyone. Today, we are at the main facilities of Akuyu Nuclear Power Plant Unit 1. This is the service hall of the reactor compartment. Only qualified specialists are currently authorized to enter it. And after reactor startup is complete, all operations will be performed here using special equipment. Being able to see this place up close is truly a unique opportunity. Right here is the nuclear reactor itself. When all unit systems undergo a series of tests, nuclear fuel, which is an incredibly energy-intensive material, will be loaded into the reactor, and the unit operation will start. During operation, a controlled nuclear reaction will take place inside the reactor. This reaction will result in release of a large amount of heat. This heat is the energy produced at a nuclear power plant. Hello, Burak. Hello. Could you tell us a bit about the reactor compartment? Of course. Right now, we are in the very heart of the nuclear power plant, where the reactor is located. The reactor is designed to operate for at least 60 years, 
and this period can be extended by up to 20 years. Water heated inside the reactor is pumped to the steam generators by the main circulation pumps. Inside the steam generators, water will turn into steam and then will run into the reactor again while being cooled. This is how the primary closed circuit of the reactor plant works. Thank you for explanation. At nuclear power plants, safety is the highest priority. It starts with site selection and is reinforced by engineering solutions. Our plant is equipped with multiple advanced safety systems. This is one of them, the emergency core cooling system tank. If pressure in the primary circuit drops below a certain level, the boric acid solution from this tank is injected directly into the reactor, stopping the nuclear reaction. Beneath the reactor, there is also a core catcher. Even in the most unlikely, beyond design basis scenario, it is capable of retaining and cooling the fuel. This is an additional and extremely important safety barrier. So here, in the heart of the power unit, a large amount of energy is released. Who manages all these processes? Just like this complex system has a heart, it must also have a brain. It is located very close, in the same building. Let's go there, to the main control room, and meet the operating personnel team. They are currently engaged in commissioning works and carefully monitor all the processes. This is the main control room of the power unit. In other words, its brain. Here, specialists monitor temperature, pressure, and hundreds of other parameters in the real-time mode. From this room, they oversee the condition of all systems and components of the nuclear power plant. Moreover, most of the processes are automated. Every action taken by the personnel is clearly defined by the relevant regulations. Hello, you news. Hello, Merve. Could you tell us about your work here in the main control room? Of course. Here in the control room, we monitor the main parameters of the power unit. This includes all parameters of the reactor, turbine, generator, and the cooling systems. Everything is controlled from this room. Thank you, you news. And what is the most important aspect of your job? It is attentiveness and concentration that matter most in our work. We have undergone long-term studies and completed internships at operational nuclear power plants in Russia in order to work here. We started working only upon completion of training on special simulators. Understood, thank you. And how reliable are the technological processes? What if an employee makes mistake? Is there such a possibility? At modern nuclear power plants, safety systems duplicate each other. Even if one safety system fails, another one will back it up automatically, without the intervention of an operator. It shows how everything here is highly automated. As for potential mistakes, employees must think twice before pressing any button on control panels. For this purpose, there is a special button, which allows to confirm that an operator is sure about his or her actions. Even if an employee makes a mistake, the automation system will block the incorrect action and continue protecting the system until the parameters of the reactor are brought to certain levels. Thus, the risk of human error is effectively eliminated. Thank you, you news. As you see, all processes at the nuclear power plant are under control of experienced operators. Automation systems ensure reliability and stable operation. So, today we have learned how the energy is produced and who controls this process. So, what is the next step? Let us find out where this energy goes. We are in the turbine building. The energy born in the reactor changes its form several times here. Saturated steam from the steam generators in the reactor building arrives here. To have a better understanding, imagine turbine is like a giant engine, yet many times bigger and more powerful than that of a typical car. Of course, a turbine department specialist will explain that better than anyone. 
Hello. We have already shared some information about steam production with our viewers. Could you tell us what happens to the steam here? Of course. Heated steam contacts with the turbine blades and rotates the turbine shaft. In this process, the thermal energy of the steam is first converted into kinetic energy and then into mechanical energy. The mechanical rotation energy of the rotors is transferred to the turbine generator where electricity is produced. It may seem very simple, but we must remember this is a nuclear power plant where the requirements for equipment quality and installation are extremely high. Thank you. The turbines used at Akuyu NPP are the most modern and efficient ones. And by the way, the turbine itself is already installed. The installation of the turbine onto the shaft turning gear and the low speed rotation of the shaft successfully confirmed the quality of the installation. Just like the reactor, the turbine will serve for at least 60 years. This is where energy begins. But for energy to leave the power plant, there is one more step ahead. Let's take a look at that together. We are now at one of the most important buildings of Akuyu NPP. This is where the gas insulated switchgear is located. Electricity comes here to the main facility of the plant's grid connection system from the turbine generator through transformers. So what exactly is this high-tech facility? Let's ask an electrical department specialist. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Could you explain to our viewers what a switchgear is? Of course. A switchgear is an electrical facility used to receive and distribute electricity. Imagine a major transportation hub like a train station or an airport. The only thing is that instead of trains and airplanes, here we have energy. Thank you. The facility consists of many components. You can see the lines through which electricity will flow. Here there are bus bars, protection devices, automation devices, as well as measuring instruments. Almost all of the required equipment has been delivered to Akuyu NPP and handed over for installation. The insulating medium in the current lines is sulfur hexafluoride, a colorless and odorless inert gas. It is used as an oil substitute in next-generation electrical installations. Thus, together we have seen another key element of Akuyu NPP, the switchgear facility. As you can see, most of the facilities of Unit 1 are already completed. There are hardly any people inside because the equipment has been installed and is ready for operation. By the way, the transmission lines have already been constructed and are ready for use. Would you like to see them? We are Turkish engineers of Akuyu NPP. Taking part in the construction of Turkey's first nuclear power plant is a great honor and responsibility for each of us. Turkey's new industry is being born here. Today, we showed you the journey of energy from the reactor to the switchgear. This journey is quite complex, and every stage of it is very important. Just as cars need roads, electricity needs cables to be transmitted. What matters is not only the generation of energy, but also its safe and secure transmission. The electrical grid infrastructure is ready to receive the energy from Akuyu NPP. And we are doing everything we can to ensure that the first nuclear generated energy is transmitted to the grid as soon as possible and in compliance with all safety requirements. Energy, burada doğuyor.